What's a super genius way to hide something in your house? If it's light and small, I split some of the seams on the side bottom of blackout drapes and stitched in a pocket and velcro. It's pretty much invisible, and I doubt people robbing the house want to disturb the drapes. I use it to stash cash. For larger stuff, I have a wood fireplace, so we have decorative wood sitting next to it. I split a log, hollowed it out a bit with a drill, use it to hide a bunch of spare keys, safe keys, etc. I made these things while I was recovering from an injury and super bored. On the positive side I think nobody will look in my places. On a negative side, if there's ever a fire the neighbors will think I'm insane when I save a blackout drape and a log. Edit, you guys are nuts. My address is redacted redacted saint redacted 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 USA. I have had some fun thinking about all the would-be robbers rifling through decorative fire logs and stealing blackout drapes. Honestly it would make some amateur slash junior detective scratch their heads and thaps enough to make me happy. Love you all. I used to think I could hide my weed from my mom and the towel in the bass drum of my drums it. One day I reached in and found a note instead. Become a hoarder. Fill your house with every piece of random junk you come across. Anything you own will become hidden. In the summer, winter jacket pockets. False bottom to your cat's litter box. Nobard is gonna dig through cat s asterisk asterisk t to look for your stuff. When I was a teenager I got my hands on a Playboy magazine. This was just before we had internet at home, which changed the game of course. My mom knew I had it, but I was just old enough where she decided to tolerate a few boobs. Still, in the conversation we had about it, she bet that if I asterisk was asterisk trying to hide a magazine from her, she would be able to find it. I accepted her challenge and told her to give me a little while to come up with hiding place. I had a chair with a cushion made of foam with a fabric cover like a typical couch cushion. I removed the fabric cover and cut a slit into the foam, inserting the magazine in the middle of the cushion. I then turned the cushion around so that the slit was on the inside and couldn't be seen if you unzipped it. I put the foam back in the cushion and put it back on the chair. Couldn't feel anything sitting on it. My mom searched for a good while and could not find it. I think even if someone tore your house up completely they likely wouldn't take the foam out of the couch cushions and carefully inspect it from all sides. <laughs> Friend of mine, ex-criminal, had that problem when police raided his house. The gun he owned was not legal, so he threw it in a pot full of beans while they were on a stew, cooking. He saved his ass. Inside sharpers. If you gently bend and wiggle the barrel, grey portion, and the fur rule, colored bit that holds the nib, you can separate them and remove the reservoir, ink. It's a great place to hide money or a joint slash cigarette while still leaving a working nib under the cap. Larger sharp is like a magnum barrel, metal ones, use glue on the fur rule so it's more difficult to separate those sharpers. Edit. Next question, what are the super genius passwords to your bank accounts? Unscrew the base of a lamp, like the entire base, and put what you want to hide inside the base, then screw the base back on. When was the last time you or anyone you know has completely disassembled a lamp? I have a Barbasol shaving can that unscrews from the bottom, similar to where Newman kept the Dino DNA in Jurassic Park. My boyfriend is tall. Anything I don't want him to see goes at the back of the lowest shelf. Inside a Holmes and Watson DVD case. It will never be opened. Definitely not worth stealing. Only risk is someone possibly decides to incinerate it. If it's flat, money, in books. You can repurpose empty food and cleaner containers to hide bigger objects. Inside of trophies. Mine are all hollow. My ex hid. What's of dollar sign 100s in the mouth of a VCR? Fake electrical outlet. Looks like a regular outlet, but has no wiring. I hid my stuff in my guitar amp's back cavity. Same can apply for any speaker box. Edit. Treat it as being super extra important, so you hide it in a super extra important place in the house. Then tell yourself you'll always remember where it is, because it's in that super extra important place. In my experience, you'll never find it again. 
in the pockets of hanging clothes in the closet. My mother and grandmother both have cold cash storage. It's a Tupperware in the freezers with cash in it. Edit. Thank you very much for wanting to reply, but the frozen assets and cold hard cash jokes has been made quite few times already. Please. Stop. I'm starting to regret making this comment. If you're trying to hide something from me, you just need to put it in the fridge or the cupboard, front, and center. Me. Hey I can't find the apple sauce. Them, it's in the cupboard with all the other sauces. Me, no it's not. Them, no, it's definitely in there I put it there an hour ago. Me, I'm telling you I just looked, and it's not there. Them, fine. I'll show you. Asterisk G-E-T-S up, goes to cupboard, opens it, points to a plesaurus in plain sight. Me, yeah that wasn't there before. Inside electronics. A lot of electronics has spare room inside. False wall in closet, either the back of the closet, top of the closet, or a wall, that doesn't have a door next to it, harder to see the missing space. Drawers, false bottom, underneath the drawer, or taped behind a drawer, on top of cabinets, especially with a false top, to cover whatever you're hiding, behind the backing of a picture. Best with those cheap photo frames that are easy to disassemble. False middle to a bottle of soda, toilet tank. Taped up under sink near the front board. Make your own false book. Works best with large bookcase. Inside a large chair or couch that's not properly sealed up underneath. Behind washing machine. Under dishwasher. None of these will stop a dedicated person from finding them. A few of the appliance based ones can be discovered if someone else does a repair on them. A few require some effort to make false cavities. But between the variety it will be hard to figure out where inside a hollowed out door. No one's going to smash a door to pieces on the off chance something is inside it. No one's going to throw away or sell slash replace a door while you're at work. And it's very unlikely that someone will cause enough damage to an interior door to wreck it. The top half Marizo, though, if you have large dogs who like to chew their way through things. Alternatively, in the hollowed out walls of a heavy safe you keep in the garage, with the safe door open, or at least not locked. Only slightly more likely to be sold to a scrap dealer or local safe enthusiast, while you're at work. A moosing variation, in a hollowed out safe slash vault door you have mounted into a wall somewhere, with the combination stamped into a metal tag tied to the handle. If there's any actual space behind the door, fill it with cheap pawn shop trophies. Because, after all, who takes the time and effort to steal, or slice up a safe they can see as empty? Bring in 10,000 more identical ones. Edit holy crap. Such a little comment and 9,000 upvotes. Soon you'll be able to hide your upvote amongst 10,000 others. My house was robbed once. They cut the silk liner out of a really nice fedora from Havana, kicked holes in the back of all the closets and certain walls, disassembled electronics, pulled all the books off the bookshelf, moved around all the appliances, Cut holes in couch cushions and mattresses, etc. However, they found no valuables, because it's my second home, and I don't leave any cash or jewelry laying around. A lot of these ideas may be good for hiding things from people that live with you, but if you're looking to hide something from a would-be thief get a safety deposit box. Edit for clarification, the criminals were apprehended, they were local landscapers who knew I wouldn't be around for long periods. They were found with a lot of amphetamines which could explain their interesting tactics. No I'm not a drug dealer. I guess safe deposit boxes aren't as safe as I thought. I don't wear fedoras. I promise. Hide the house first, by procrastinating on yard work. As a kid I saw, that whomever had put the floor trim in my room didn't do a great job measuring. There was a section in one corner of the room, under my bed, that was about 18 inches long, and held in with a single nail. I found that I could simply pull it out, and the whole thing would swing out like a door. So I took a knife, and cut out the drywall. Just enough that, if the trim was replaced, you would never see the hole. I kept everything in there from pawn to cash to weed. As a paranoid child with fairly conservative parents I thought of all sorts of creative places to hide things. I should be a law enforcement consultant. I can find any hiding place. You can dissolve your friend's Nobel Prize medals in Aqua Regia. Edit. 
After a few oddly specific responses I'm guessing most people aren't getting the reference. The question was what's a super genius way to hide something. George D. Hevesy, a Nobel Prize winner in chemistry, so I would classify as a super genius, needed a way to hide two of his friends' Nobel Prizes while they fled the Nazis. He came up with the idea of dissolving them in an acid, aqua regia, and left the solution on a shelf in his lab. He came back years later to find them undisturbed. The gold was precipitated out of the solution and the Nobel Society recast the original gold into metals. Secret rooms go in the basement along the perimeter completely underground. If you put a secret room upstairs, the rest of the house won't make physical sense to the astute observer. I have a triple monitor mount with a main pipe everything attaches to. Well, pop the cap off that pipe I third printed a long tubular container with several compartments and boom. Hid a spot that no one would ever check. One time I was playing hide and seek with my niece I just sat down at the table with everyone else. Took her about a half hour to find me. I knew a guy in college who would always show up to parties with a clear container filled with cereal. One time he opened it up and pulled out a bag of weed. We all got stoned and then he found some milk and ate his cereal. Pretty genius other than trusting the milk at a college house. Our family has always kept loads of cash and other valuable in the base of the tall grandfather clock. It's a natural hiding place, because the clock's front door requires a hidden key to open it. It's dark down inside grandfather's bottom. Better still, the substantial pendulum swinging above with the three heavy hanging weights for the action, and chime rods totally obscure what's stashed deep down inside the clock case. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.